here's how to play your PS4 from any Android device. Almost any Android device. Firstly, if you have a Sony Xperia Z2 or Z3 smartphone or tablet, you can use the official Remote Play app and even play with your PS4 controller. If you don't, you can still remote play if you have almost any recent Android smartphone or tablet. I've got it working on a Galaxy S3. Alright, start by downloading the Remote Play Port APK from the provided link. Copy the APK to your Android device and install it. Installing APKs varies slightly from device to device, so I'll let you figure that part out. Alright, turn on your PS4 once you have it installed. Click Next to start searching for the PS4. Follow any on-screen prompts you get, and you're playing on PS4. After you're connected, the app will remember your PS4. It'll try to connect locally first, but if it can't find it, it'll search online for your PS4. So wherever you are in the world, if you're connected to the internet, you'll be able to play your PS4. Just uh, leave your PS4 in rest mode, and then you can log in anytime. The touch screen is difficult to use, and it's often laggy. Uh, you can double tap above the controls to simulate a controller touchpad press. Press this little doohickey at the bottom to access the options and share buttons. Press back to exit out of the app and exit your connection to the PS4. Uh, keep in mind that if you haven't turned off your PS4 or put it into rest mode, that it's still going to be on. Even playing locally, you are bound to see lag though, and possibly get disconnected from your PS4. It helps if you use an actual PS4 controller. If you have a Sony Xperia Z2 or Z3, this works right out of the box by tapping that register button on the app. If not, there are some apps on the Google Play Store that will let you connect your controller to the phone, but it will require a rooted device. Just search for a 6X as controller in the Google Play Store. If you don't want to spend money on a controller connecting app, or if you can't root your phone, there is another option, but it only works if you are near your PS4. To summarize, you'll be using your PS4 on your normal account, but on your remote play device you'll be using a different account just to see what's going on in the game. So here's the process. Create a second PSN account. It's easy to do it on your system. Log in to your PS4 with that account. Log in with your new PSN account on the Remote Play app on your device. Open your settings on the Remote Play app on the device and tap Change PS4 to connect to. When it starts connecting, hit Skip. It will ask for some numbers. Go to Settings on your PS4, select Remote Play Connection setting, select Add Device. Use that number on your Remote Play device. After it connects, disconnect by pressing back. On the PS4, log out of your new user account and log back into your primary account. On your remote play device, go to settings, log out, and log back in with your new user account. On the main screen of the app, press next to continue to connect to your PS4. Now you can remote play with your controller. That's it. Now you can buy a Yallerhorn from Xur even though you're traveling abroad. Enjoy.